Prince Harry and Meghan Markle helped Omid Scobie in writing Endgame. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's silence over Endgame shows the couple is heavily involved in the book. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who have kept mum over author Omid Scobie's royal book, have detailed their life to the writer. Expert Kinsey Schofield told GB News, When I look at Harry and Meghan I think, when are they going to look in the mirror and say, hi it's me, the problem is me? Everywhere they go, drama follows. So if you want to have a sacred day where you want to be the center of attention and you want to celebrate a union and love, why would you invite Harry and Meghan to wreak havoc on your big day? She added, I don't think it's snubbing as much as it's common sense. She claimed, Harry and Meghan are toxic and they can say all day long they weren't involved in Endgame but at the end of the day, their fingers prints were all over Omid Scobie's book Finding Freedom that it's hard to say they were in no shape or form associated with Endgame. Meghan Markle handpicked Omid Scobie to cover her relationship with then-boyfriend Prince Harry assuming he would be sympathetic to her situation. Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, a mixed-race person, faced a lot of criticism for marrying into the British monarchy, claimed the royal author. Speaking with James O'Brien on his podcast, the Finding Freedom writer reflected on the first time Meghan toured the office of US Magazine in a bid to build her image. Meghan, who was relatively unknown then despite starring in Suits as Rachel Zane, wanted to see if there was something to do, said Scobie. He went on to narrate how she chose him to share her story with the world after she started dating Prince Harry in 2016. Suits was a huge thing for our magazine, he said. Funnily enough a year or two earlier, I wasn't in the office at the time, Meghan's agent or publicist had brought her in to just meet editors and see if there was something to do. She was very much on the radar, even if she wasn't up there with the big-name celebrities, he added. We really had a lead. I had the lead in covering the early days of this relationship, and when I left the magazine they were my focus for this, royal, beat. She had picked the people she wanted to cover it. I was able to be the one that provided the different perspective. I was known as the safe face at least.